Well, hello everyone. How are you doing? Today, I thought I would throw my thoughts in on the Halo series that's just coming out. Yeah, because I've, I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. Some people are like, oh yeah, it's, it's okay. Some people are like, it's awful. This is an affront to, to Halo and everything that I stand for as a gamer. And well, I'm also a little bit mixed on it myself. I thought I would go ahead and talk about why specifically I do and do not like it. So keep in mind we're three episodes in right now. And being three episodes in, uh, I've seen a lot of different stuff. And the first episode, it starts out pretty good. Um, I mean, it starts out following this like teenage girl around and her friends as they do drugs. And then there's a covenant attack on a settlement. And then, then the Spartans come and save the day. Uh, well, save the day, but everyone dies. Blah, blah, whatever. Anyway, at that point, Master Chief ends up, like, babysitting this teenage girl. And my first impression was like, oh, fuck. They're not seriously going to make this be one of those stupid, like, adult escorting a kid around, teaching them the ways of life kind of shows. Are they, you know, like, yeah, that you see all the damn time, and it's just... If the kid was not involved, the show would be so much more enjoyable. <clears throat> so, I'm here to say that's not the case. Uh, Master Chief swiftly ditches her in uh, episode two, which, thank God. I was so happy when I saw him just, like, leave without her. Because now we can uh, focus on Master Chief doing Halo and Spartan stuff, you know? We won't be babysitting, having to protect a kid the entire time. And then episode three comes around and you still see the kid in time. So apparently we're having a split story between Master Chief and the kid whose name I don't even care to know about. And to be honest, I pretty much skip all of her scenes because I just do not care about this kid with this goofy haircut who is like, I'm going to be a rebel and fight the UNSC because my daddy did it and because we think that the Covenant are boogeymen. And even though the Covenant wiped out my entire, like, fucking settlement and killed my father, I'm still going to say the UNSC is trash and I think we should not get together with them to fight this common threat because my daddy hates them. And it's like, Jesus fucking Christ. That's literally her whole, like, character is... She was the rebel's daughter, and her dad hated the UNSC. And then even though blatant evidence of alien activity, covenant activity, destroying her settlement, she's still like, yeah, no, the rebels should not, uh, you know, team up with the UNSC to fight the covenant. We're going to continue being a thorn in your side so all of us fucking die. Okay? Even though, even though... It was so hilarious seeing the Covenant just like shoot their plasma weapons and just disintegrate their bodies. It was amazing. Really good. The first like episode's fight scene was excellent. They really nailed that. And like the, the way the Spartans fought and you know, all that kind of stuff was really good. Really well done. I liked it. If the entire series was just the Spartans going around kicking ass, I would be so sold on it but unfortunately it's not um but yeah that's one of my major gripes is that that kid is involved and so a portion of the series is going to be dedicated to her story and her being a dumbass even though in the grand scheme of things i'm pretty sure she plays no part at all in the series um yeah anyway moving on from that uh like i said the action it was great. I enjoyed it. However, the second and third episodes really kind of lacked a lot of action. It didn't really have much. And so it's just been a kind of talking and dialogue and ramping stuff up, which uh, I understand in a way why that happened. It makes sense. But it's still kind of annoying. I wish there was more fighting, you know? But regardless, moving on from 
that point. I really like Halsey. Halsey is like great. And like the, the like manipulation and the like the way she conducts herself is just so perfect and great. And I approve of it. And also, Cortana is Cortana. Her voice is the same uh, voice actress. And I th I'm pretty sure they used a CG like model for Cortana. But it's really like realistic. Like really realistic. Uh, so it's kind of weird-ish in a way. But I still like it. It's great. Um, on to John himself. Master Chief, Spartan 117. I don't mind the guy that they cast to play him. I mean, of course, you're not going to be able to get the, the voice actor who, I think he's a lot, he's, he's getting older now, right? I don't, I don't know. But he might not be able to properly act um, since he's, you know, just, just a voice actor. Well, if he's, you know, comfortable doing that, maybe he said no, maybe they asked him. I don't know how all that goes. The actor himself is not bad. What I don't like about it, though, is that they like constantly have Master Chief out of his armor or showing off his face or uh, stuff like that. And it's just like, why? You don't need this. Like, I, I can understand when they're in like a base and doing stuff, but like it's every single opportunity they have, he takes his helmet off. When he's in a like prime-ridden uh, satellite colony thing his helmet's off the entire damn time ridiculous wearing it um additionally the fact that he's not clean shaven is fucking bizarre to me because military regulation what you would think would stipulate yeah you can't have beards um there are a couple of other characters that have beards but they seem to be specifically like high command or scientists it's not like the rank and file soldiers. And yet Master Chief has this like thick, like um close to the cheek beard kind of thing going on. And it's like, why? Why do you have this beard? And I was thinking, okay, he, he was away on an assignment and he just got back. Maybe they're gonna shave it later. They don't. They don't. They're leaving it for some stupid reason. Also, Master Chief's supposed to be pale because he's like barely ever out of the armor, right? He's not pale. He looks like the same. I don't know. I also thought he was supposed to be bald for some reason. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Regardless, like, they should at least shave him, you know? Then it would be more of a fit and put him in the armor a little more. But I digress from that point. Anyway, there's also this, like, other character that is showing up. Uh, it's a human that's with the Covenant. And I don't know who she is. Like, she seems like some sort of, like, oracle. Because she, like, prophesized the... Um, object that they found in the first episode being on that planet and so it's like huh it's kind of weird i don't understand why she's there i don't know if she's like in the books or uh what but it, it's kind of bizarre anyway the the aliens the elites and the uh you, you see the elites and you see the, uh, the prophets, and they look good. They, they're pretty good. It's real good CGI or whatever you want to call it. It's, it's real nice. Um, I don't have any problems with it. My one concern, though, is that there were no grunts. Usually the grunts go in first and take the bullets, and then the elites come in second. So it was a little bit weird not seeing any grunts. But I digress. Anyway, a lot of things about this but all in all i'm definitely going to keep watching it because i thought it was nice 
Let me look this up real quick. Halo series, um, human covenant. Why is there a human in the Halo Covenant TV show? Let's see. Revealed a human being in the upper ranks. Raider, let's see. Does it say who exactly they are? Halo TV series has a different timeline. But the basic concept is the same. Halo universe, the galaxy's threads. Yeah, but does it say who she is in this document? I do not see. I think they're saying that there might be a parallel between uh, a novel called Halo Silent Storm in which the Master Chief confronts a group of insurrectionists who believe humanity was doomed and attempt to join the Covenant. But uh doesn't appear to say specifically who this is. Yeah. It's especially weird because she's like, it seems like she's of the same rank or a higher rank than the Prophets. Because she can like talk to them like as equals basically, but it still seems like she's kind of like a prisoner. I don't know. It's strange. But uh yeah. Very odd. So I just want to say some things. How I think things are gonna play out. So this is obviously before the fall of Reach, because they get to Reach um and they're spending some time on it and whatnot. And Cortana's getting made, and they have Cortana now. So if things follow, in the next couple of episodes, the uh, human woman on the Covenant side is going to discover where Reach is, and they're going to invade and destroy Reach. Which means that they're going to have Master Chief and Cortana get into the Pillar of Autumn and fly to the first Halo ring. And I believe... That's what's going to happen. Seems like that's what will happen, at least. Um, although it does seem kind of weird. Because you have Halo Reach, the game, where you were playing as Noble Team, carrying Cortana to Master Chief. Whereas in the uh, show so far, Master Chief has Cortana already inside of his brain. So whether they get separated again at some point for like maintenance or what, I don't know. I don't know. Seems, uh, seems interesting so far, though. But I gotta say, I, I, I cannot wait until they get out of the talky, like, informative, world-building type bits and get into more Covenant versus human stuff. That'll just be great. But my thought is, what they're gonna do is they're gonna have the uh, this season how many episodes does it have how many episodes will this have so far there's three but how many are planned how many are planned can i see that how many episodes are planned it's 10 episodes okay 10 episodes what is going to happen apparently if I'm reading the right one. Anyway, that being the case, we're already three episodes in. We have not seen Reach get destroyed or anything yet. What I'm going to guess happens. Episode four, they're going to go and do whatever they're doing currently after the end of episode three. Meanwhile, the Covenant woman's going to work on figuring out the location of Reach because she wants the artifact. And then episode... Five and six are probably going to be um, that whole process. And we're also probably going to cut to the teenage girl as she does insurrectionist shit for some reason because, you know, she was a, a, a random person that happened to be at the, the first episode. So we got to follow her. Whatever. That takes us to episode six. That gives us like four more left. Um, so after that, we're going to have probably an episode or two of the fight on Reach. Maybe three. And then episode 10, I believe what's going to happen, we're going to end up with Master Chief, Cortana, and everyone else on the Pillar of Autumn. And they're going to discover Halo, setting it up for episode, or not episode, season two, which will take place on Halo. That's my opinion. 
on uh, the whole thing. But yeah. But yeah. Interesting. So yeah, that's, that's my uh, my theories on it, whatnot. Oh, also one more thing that kind of just kind of bugs me. Um, in the show, they made uh, Jacob and Miranda Keys. You know, Commander Com Com Commander Keys and Miranda Keys, who takes over after Commander Keys dies. Basically, uh, they made them black in the TV series. Which, not that against black characters, but are they, like, supposed to be black in, like, the, the books or something? Or, or, or what? Because, I mean, I've only played the games, so I only know them to be, you know, white. It was just kind of weird to see, like, characters who are known to be one race become the other. It's kind of weird when that happens. Like, I don't know. There are plenty of other chances to, like, give other characters, different races, you know, like, I don't know, the other Spartans that he's with, they could have, you know, done that. Instead of making, what, are two of them white and then one's a black guy, right? But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if those Spartans are ever, like, talked about in the show, ever. They don't seem like the, the same team that you have in Halo... Halo 5? I think? I don't know. Anyway, I just think it's kind of weird... But I don't know. Not that they're bad or doing a bad job. It's just I, I did not expect them to be those characters when they were showing up. Also, was Miranda Keys was she yeah, Halsey's daughter? That's how it is in the show. Apparently, Miranda is Halsey's daughter, and uh, yeah, that's news to me, I guess. But uh, yeah. Anyway, that's everything for me, everyone. Thank you all for listening in. And, uh, man, I wonder if they're going to show up the Orbiter anywhere. Then again, he doesn't show up until, like, Halo 1, 2, so. They'd have to actually get to the ring first. Unless they do some, hey, we're going to talk about the Orbiter here uh, and his history before the, the ring. That'd be, that'd be interesting. That'd be cool. That's what we need. Man, how about we get like a, a Halo series from like the elite perspective of like them doing crazy shit. That'd be great. Man. All right, anyway, thank you all for listening in here. I'm going to let you all go. Uh, until next time, bye for now.